It is no surprise Beer City USA continues to live true to its name. New study done by Experience Grand Rapids shows a big increase in the tourism economy when it comes to craft beer. 13 on your side's Nita Lasaro now live in front of the mitten. What does the e economic impact look like, Nina? Well, Nick, in 2015, that study was first released, and those numbers indicated a economic impact for beer tourism of roughly $12 million. Compare that to the study findings today, that number has more than tripled, Nick. Let's go over some of these key findings of this study that came out uh, in 2019. The first, that 12 million now up to nearly $40 million. We know that our craft brew scene attracts many, but this study shows 94,000 beer tourists visited the 40 breweries in Kent County. Beer tourists supported close to 400 new jobs and about $10 million in earnings for Kent County. You can compare those numbers to 2015, which showed about 171 jobs and $3.3 million in earnings. These kinds of numbers have a trickle down effect. During the study year, beer tourists spent about $24 million on not only craft beer, but hotel accommodations, food, transportation, and of course other spending. 23.3% of beer tourists come from outside of Michigan and 40% of these beer tourists stayed in a hotel or motel in the Grand Rapids area. People travel, of course, everybody has to eat, so um, the restaurants are benefiting, the breweries, of course, are benefiting. We've seen a lot of um, different entrepreneurs starting businesses kind of based around the whole beer city idea. So um, transportation companies, um, people using uh, rideshare companies to get around safely. You know, there's really a lot of different companies that benefit from um, anytime a tourist comes into town. Now, it's important to note here, the study does not include the entire economic impact of beer in Kent County. That number would be much higher. This study specifically relates to beer tourism. Those are the people that come to this area specifically for the beer scene. And coming up tonight at 11 o'clock, you're going to hear from the co-owner of the Mitten. This is where I am right now, and he'll talk about how he's seen this impact as it relates here in his small business. For now, live in the Mitten, I'm Nina DeSaro, 13 on your side.